My name's Fran. Um, I am a veterinary science student. I am in my fifth year and it's a five year course. So all going to plan, I should be graduating at the end of this year, which is quite exciting. I chose to come to Murdoch because of its reputation for veterinary science. Um, basically, it, when I graduate here, it gives me the freedom to practice anywhere I want in the world. Basically, we spent two weeks in South Africa on uh, the Murdoch Uni's annual trip for conservation medicine. It's a really important industry over there and to understand the conservation medicine issues facing the people at the moment is really important. It was, it was just incredibly full on right from the start. Our first day we did some giraffe captures on a couple of giraffes that needed to be relocated from a housing estate to a park. We spent uh, an entire day in some of the rural communities in South Africa participating in the state vet program which involved um, free vaccinations to community dogs against rabies. So the aim of the program is to try and protect as many dogs as possible against the disease and therefore by extension protect the human population. Yeah, so we were kind of aware of the issues um, facing the people um, associated with rabies. It made me feel really privileged to take part in a program like this. Like it, it just made me feel like we were really, really making a difference on a global scale. You know, it gives me goosebumps sort of thinking about what we were involved in. It just makes me feel really privileged to have been involved. And we spent the night setting up a um, capture station for a pride of about six male lions. Um, the idea being to dart them with some sedation and while they were anaesthetised, take some blood samples and this was mainly for surveillance of rabies in the population. I have a photo of my hand up against this fully grown male lion's paw. It's one of my most treasured photos because it just, I was just, I was blown away. I think in the first week over in, in South Africa, I was exposed to about, potentially exposed to about 10 of the incredibly scary exotic diseases that these guys warn us about throughout the whole five years. If I can find a way to sort of combine my, my medical, my veterinary science degree with um, this, these massive efforts that they're doing over there, it would just be a dream come true. It doesn't hit home and it took for me to, to visit these populations and see what situations they were dealing with before I realised that, wow, you know, this really is happening and it's on this enormous scale about which I had no idea we can really learn something from the other countries and the efforts they're going to for their conservation on a, on a, on a worldwide scale.